what's up guys welcome back to another video so we are hooking into some work on the 46 so i actually started it the other day got it all jacked up and everything and i was hoping to just quickly drop the diff out go weld it up chuck it back in and bob's your uncle but found the wheel bearing on this side's toast because um, it's been quite noisy on the motorway so the wheel bearing on the, this side's pretty toast the other one feels okay but pretty average the and then when I started to, to try and pull things apart to drop the diff out there's like heaps of the bolt heads are real rusty and stuff like that a couple of them that I didn't think were going to come I've at least managed to crack loose so I decided to just go gung-ho and pull the whole rear subframe out um, gonna pull that out poly bush everything weld the diff up just pretty much check everything over hopefully find some better condition trailing arms to chuck in with um, some either better bearings or new bearings if I have to I'll chuck some bearings in these ones but they're pretty rusty and yuck so I'm not too keen on that but pretty much gonna set up the tripod now I'm still waiting for, on my Amazon I ordered some half inch torque bits for the drive shafts because my little socket set didn't have them in so that Amazon order is literally supposed to be here any minute now so I'm just gonna go through get the calipers loose unplug all the wiring for like the ABS the wheel speed centers and stuff the pad brake pad level sensors and stuff like that get everything un unho as unhooked as I can and um, so that oh get everything as unhooked as I can and loose so that once I get the socket for the drive shaft I can loosen that off and just drop it out I've already managed to loosen the pocket bolts here and most of the four bolts that actually hold the subframe up so without further ado may as well set up a bit of a bit of a time lapse to go through get some of the stuff pulled apart make the most of the sunshine chips but what we need just about got this I've got like the rear caliper off not the actual caliper bracket because the it's, you can see they've swapped the caliper at some point but they haven't done to swap the bracket over um because the bolts look super rusted so I'm gonna wait till it's out and then try and get them loose so I can get a power bar on there but pretty stoked now that I've got those I'd like to try and have this out and on the ground today so this side's actually pretty much almost ready to go really jump over the other side pull those wires through should be good to go <laughs> okay guys so now i've got this side ready to go as well calipers off look at all this rust Every time I touch something, here's the rust falls off. I've cracked the subframe mount bolts all loose. I uh, got all the wiring unplugged for the speed sensors on this side as well, spring out. It's just hanging there, so... I mean, even these are rusty as. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is going to jump inside, unhook the handbrake cables, get that all loose, and then do the drive shaft last and try and drop it all. Uh, I don't actually know how much of the console I've got to take apart. Hopefully it's not too much. Let's I assume. Oh man. Oh. Looks like pretty much none of it. Good old BMW. Hopefully. It's just a case of undoing those nuts there. 
So the cables come free. Sweet, I'm gonna hook into it. And I usually, especially way back in New Zealand, I would have just gone hell Mary and yanked all this shit out, but because I want to try and keep this thing a little bit tidy and like a nice street streeting cut and make sure I don't damage any. Hopefully I don't have to take more of the interior part and stuff because I, um, I hate all that sort of stuff. I always break the clips and stuff. So hopefully this does the trick. Okay guys, so I've got the front pockets out. I managed to get the handbrake, the handbrake cables like pulled through the holes and they're just hanging down over there. So I've pretty much got the last four, the two nuts and the two bolts that bolt the subframe up. Uh, I'm gonna loosen those off now and see if it will drop out pretty much. I don't think there's anything else left holding it. Oh, look at the spider. I don't think you can see him. Got a big little bastard there. Hey, teeny fella. Hey, look at him. Ooh. Anyway, at least we're not in Australia. We're going to be venomous. So get those unbolted um, and see if she falls. The center of that bush is actually blown out anyway, so I wonder if that's part of the clunking I can hear in the back. And the one part I thought was just going to pop off is the one bit holding me up. Sweet. Sweet. So, that's that popped out. Just thinking, looks like I'm high enough to slide it straight out the back. 
rather than dragging it sideways. Mind you, have I got enough room at the back? Mm. Might be better dragging it sideways and then I kind of probably have to take it apart to be honest. So we can't really leave it out the front here. Might try and drag it out and then take it apart to where it's in like a bit more like carryable pieces. I think that's going to be the go-to. We haven't got that much light left, but see how we get on. Alrighty guys, so that's the current state of affairs. See like, I was wondering whether to just wire brush and repaint all this, but I'll now see once I get a bit more stripped. Check it's like structurally okay. But I really would like to replace those trailing arms. I've got new lower control arms coming, adjustable ones. You see here these bushes have definitely seen better days. That one fell out as well. There had been a little bit of clunking like on and off the gas. Not all the time but only sometimes I wonder if that's what these were. So I'm pretty much just going to go through now. Probably look at stripping like that half, that half in the middle just to make it a bit more mobile and easy to carry because then I can fit it in my little shed at the back. But probably won't bother filming that, that'd be pretty boring. If anything interesting comes along I'll film it as well. So I'm going to call it for this video guys. Uh, in the next one hopefully we can suss out either replacing that subframe or cleaning it up, painting it. But we'll be making progress soon on the least. So just checking out this video guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.